Hello, my fellow crystal lovers. I am her huntress, and I wanted to share with you one of my newest finds in additions to my collection. Now, I recently just did a video about uh, crystals I wanted to add to my collection this year, and I got bored the other day and went to my local crystal shop, and lo and behold, I found the first one on my list, which was actually shocking because I didn't think that I would come across this for quite some time. And it was sit, sitting there on the shelf just waiting for me. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so since I found one uh, something on my list pretty quickly, I would like to actually go out and search and find things on my list and maybe do a once a month update after I found one thing on my list and tell you about it. So it might be a new little series on my channel. So this was or is an anhydro quartz. What an anhydro quartz is, is... When this is formed, little pockets of water pretty much get sealed in the crystals when it's forming. And some of them are just air bubbles, some of them are water. I can't pick this one up on camera because they're really small. Um, they've circled at the shop, circled the three that were officially found. Now I can only see these two. They're really tiny, and the only way I can see them is this one over here is a tiny air bubble that moves when I move the crystal around. And this one has some kind of black speck in there, some kind of black debris that moves when I tip the crystal up. So there's no air bubble in that one. And I actually think there might be two in this area because I can see something else moving farther back. So I don't know if that's like a cavern or pocket that may be connected and goes back farther. Because that can happen too. There could be larger kind of caverny pockets that connect these. But yeah, so far I've only found these two. If I don't find this one after maybe a month or so, I might just erase the circle because it doesn't matter if I could only find two. But I was so super excited when I found this. You have no idea. This is... I've been thinking about one of these for quite some time. So what do these do for you? Well, I had to read up on this because I haven't had it very long. But they are good for relationships. And it's supposed to be good for the feeling of possibilities. So it might be another... It might be a good crystal to work with for the new year. If it's um, good for new possibilities. But yeah, there wasn't a whole lot I could find on the meaning of this. Other than it was good for relationships, spirituality, and the feeling of possibilities. No matter what, it is really cool to look at. And I hope someday to find this other one that they say is in here. But since you can't see these little caverns, I'm going to insert some pictures of anhydra crystals that you can see so you know what I'm talking about. Well, that's pretty much it for today's video. It's going to be a short one because I only had this little guy to talk about. But I'm going to go play with my new baby and figure out where I'm going to display it. So I hope you liked this video today. Be looking in the future for more of them that I have added to my collection from my list. And you guys have a lovely day. Bye.